Mina, come on why, Jesus freaking gamer here. I'm pretty sure I've said this before. I thought it bore repeating. Psalm 75, verse 1. We another Psalm of Asaph. Woo! Uh, that's a shout out to a message I did the other day. Uh, how I prefer Asaph over David. Check out that message. I think it's pretty decent. Well, it's my opinion anyway. And it's my channel, so I'm allowed to give those dog on it. So Psalm 75, verse 1. We give thanks to you, O God, we give thanks. For your wondrous works declare that your name is near. Having a thankful heart and being thankful to God for everything that you have, for everything that you've had, for all the good things that are coming, that is so essential to a good, prosperous, and happy life, to acknowledge God and to be thankful to Him for the things that you have. I know there's some bad in this world. I, know, I can look at my life right now and I can point out a few things where I'm just like, you know, this is... This isn't going the way it should at all. This is not proper, and this isn't decent or good at all. And I'm not going to... I Maybe I will go into that in some other video. I'm not going to go into it here, and I usually don't go into those negative things in these videos. Sometimes I will address negative things, but it will be based on the biblical topic. And sometimes I talk about some of the things I struggle with in my life. Uh, I think it's good to share those things. I think it's good for people to know, hey, I'm human. I don't have it. I don't have everything in place. I don't have it perfect. Just because I'm a Christian doesn't mean everything in my life is great and wonderful. That's not true at all. But I overwhelmingly try to focus on the love of God, on the good things He's done, on the fact that He has a plan, on the fact that He will judge the things that are bad. In fact, it's, it goes down and says at the first in the first part of verse two. Well, actually, I'm sorry, the entirety of verse 2. When I choose the proper time, I will judge uprightly. And I'm thankful for that, that all the bad people like Hitler, um, because he, he's, you know, <laughs> he's kind of the go-to guy for evil. You know, all those guys, and girls, the girls definitely do things that are bad as well. They'll, there will be a time of judgment for those people, and we can be thankful for that. People that are evil, people that have done horrible things, there will be a judgment where they're held into account, and the things that have done that, that have been done wrong will be made right. And all the good things that we get in this life, the good food we get to eat, the um, great people that we're friends with, the good times that we have, the little bit of money that we do have, those are all blessings from on high, and they're all good things from a good God and a good Father that we should be thankful for. There's a lot to be thankful for in my own life. I can I can think out the, about the bad things. In fact, I was thinking about a lot of the bad things earlier, and they seem to be overwhelming me. But, I feel like that was bad English. They seem to be overwhelming me, but, I read this psalm, and it's like, you know, and even in the middle of my um, praying about those things to God, I was like, I really have a lot to be thankful for. There's a lot more good in my life than there is bad. And let's not forget the ultimate good thing. For those of us who are believers, that we are His children. We know Him personally. We can take all of our problems to Him. And one day, all of the crap down here is going to end. We will be in, with Him in heaven. And we will be with Him and the saints forever. Our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. This life... And this reality that we live in is ultimately the best possible reality that there could be. There is a good God who is ju a just judge who will mete out righteousness to every individual and give to every individual according to what they deserve and to get eternal life with this good benevolent creator forever. All you need to do is accept the sacrifice that he himself gave for his imperfect creation. It really doesn't get much better than that. In a free will system where we're allowed to mess up and rebel against him, the fact that he paid the price himself to be reunited with him, and then we get eternity forever with him based on his sacrifice. Guys, there's so much to be thankful for. There's so much good that we can receive. If you're not a Christian, I strongly encourage you to become one today. Accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Repent of your sins. Accept the sacrifice that Jesus Christ did for you on the cross, shedding his blood for the forgiveness of your sins, and then rose again three days later, guaranteeing us eternal life in heaven with him. And for those of us who are already Christians, who are already inheritors of these great and wonderful promises, 
if nothing else in life is going right. If, if, you're, if you're suffering somewhere along the Job level, and I don't believe many of us are anywhere close to that. Very, very few, if any, are suffering along those heavy lines. You can go back a few months ago to where I was talking about that. Even then, we know our God. We're with Him. And there is so much to be thankful for. God is so good. He's so good. And he's given us so much. So let's be thankful, guys. Let's be thankful to this great and wondrous God who gives us, how, how did verse 1 put it? For your wondrous works declare that your name is near. And he is. He's close to each and every one of us, even those of you who don't know him. And he's ready and waiting for you to call out to him. Even this video, it's one more, one more of God's cries and pleas to you to come to him, to get to know him for him to be your Lord and Savior. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Be thankful, have a thankful heart. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.